Hey, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Atazawam coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope and pray that it's edifying. Of course, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well and that taught us this truth. And as always, peace, love, many blessings to the elect of Israel scattered around the four corners of the earth who's given all diligence to make their calling of election sure. All right. Peace and salutation to you. OK, um, tonight's lesson is going to be entitled uh, the prophets are masters of time. OK. And since the beginning, Yahweh Bashim Shai has endowed the Holy Spirit unto the prophets and, and, and given them the gift to be able to discern times. OK. To be able to speak things uh, before they happen. And that is a, that is the ultimate gift uh, given from the heavens. Now, Yahweh by Shema was shy, or namely Yahweh, which is the heavenly father, is known as the ancient of days. OK, because he, he precedes time. He's not governed by time. OK, he created time, you know, and that's kind of hard to fathom, you know, being in his flesh. But because the Lord um, is, is omnipotent and, and all powerful, he's given the prophet the, the spirit to be able to discern time. Um, accurately, man. Okay. And, and the things that we go out on the highways and byways and say and speak, they, they come from an inspiration. And that inspiration is, is none other than Yahweh Bashim Awa Shai, which makes us masters of time. Okay. And I got the scripture that goes into uh, King Solomon uh, when he was given the, the spirit of knowledge and wisdom to where he was able to understand time. And that's a gift, you know. That is a gift in itself, man. It, you got certain people out here that, that you know, they, they can't remember shit that happened three weeks ago. You know, they'll say, oh, that, that, was, that felt like three months ago. And it'd be a whole three weeks, let alone, you know, brothers that come in the truth and they say, you know, in a couple years, the spirit is going, you know, that's, that's, that's a gift, man. Okay. That's a gift to know and discern time. Now, one thing that we can't, Declare is the, the actual date that the Lord is going to actually come back because Yahweh Shai himself don't even know the day. OK, but we use the, the, the signs, OK, in the scriptures the, to, to measure that we are close to the appearing of Yahweh Shai. OK, so this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse. Uh, I'm going to start at 17. It says, for he have given me certain knowledge of the things that are that are. Namely, to know how the world was made in the operation of the elements. So King Solomon was so wise that he knew how the earth was made. OK. A lot of people base it up upon scientific theory, the Big Bang uh, theory or evolution or whatever the case may be. But King Solomon knew how it was made. OK, that's a high level of knowledge. All right. It says and the operations of the elements. So he had understanding of the earth. OK, which the main the main elements upon earth is wind, water, fire and, uh, and, and earth. OK, um, you know, understanding, you know, liquid solids and gases. He had that understanding. So he you knew he knew how to manipulate the elements to a certain degree. Verse 18, which is the point, it says the beginning, ending and midst of times. The alteration of the turning of the sun and the change of the seasons. So he understood the beginning. He understood the ending and he understood the midst of time that which makes him a master of time. See, majority of people on the face of the earth, they're not masters of time. They don't know the prophecies. They don't know the things that's getting ready to happen. OK, they don't know the, 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 the coming future events that's going to take place. Only the prophets and those that follow the prophets can understand this and which is which makes those men top tier men. OK. Top tier. OK, a prophet, it has the uncanny ability to foretell the future in, in, in accuracy, man. That's why they hated the prophets and wanted to kill them. OK, because their words had enough power to stir up emotion within people because it was true it was accurate so king solomon knew how time worked okay 
verse 19, it says the circuit of years and the position of the stars. So he even understood astrology, which is what, you know, people call it today, which is just the operation of the of the uh, the celestial uh, uh, stars. OK, but he understood how that worked. We don't have that knowledge to that capacity today. OK, but back then he had it, which makes him a master of time. Now, you see the brothers on the highways and byways that that's able to teach the word and go into chronological history and dates and, and, and you know, accurately predict certain things in the future. OK, well, I, I, his videos of brothers was pre predicting the pandemic. Brothers was predicting the shutdowns of the NBA. The, the, those videos are out there. OK, so that that's that's more of an accurate and vivid uh, uh, um, point of view when it comes down to the Bible. OK, now from there, let's go to another scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes 8. I'm going to start at the top. It says, who is the wise man and who know of the interpretation of a thing? Because the Bible is mainly based upon interpretation. OK, interpretation, should I say? OK, that's why you got so many other people out here that interpret the Bible one way. OK, but it's a, it's a false interpretation. The men that, that really got the spirit of the Lord interpret the Bible based upon the inspiration that was given unto them. OK, because prior to that, that inspiration, those men didn't know the scriptures like that. So it's a divine spirit that 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 rests upon the souls of certain particular individuals to interpretate these words. That's why you got certain Christians, Creflo Dollar and, you know, what's the other guy, Eddie Long? Well, no, nah, Eddie Long, he up out of here. <laughs> we ain't talking about that cat, that, that, that fruit bag. You know, uh, what's the other guy that's still uh, alive and kicking it, man? Um, uh, T.D. Jakes. They, they, they're falsely interpreting the scriptures because they're not masters of time. If you have the spirit of the most high on you, which he's known as the ancient of days, you will have the ability to discern time and interpret it properly. That's why Daniel was, was, was able to break down Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Okay. It says a wise man, a man's wisdom make of his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed, which is that's why you see certain brothers. They have that that pure looking spirit is that, that piercing look, you know, very uh, strong uh, uh, visual of, or visage. OK, the word visage just means face. OK, because the wisdom of the Lord is, is upon that person. Now, this is the book of the uh, I'm going to jump down to verse five. It says, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Okay? That's why we're supposed to be measuring the times. That's why the scriptures say redeem the time, because the Lord has given us the ability to master it. The average nigga out here don't know how to master time. Okay? Don't know how to, to, to observe you have to make ops spiritual observations in life, and it must be filtered with the scriptures. Other than that, it's just personal, private interpretation. And that's what the, the, the world that we live in, majority, is based upon. Feelings, emotions, and private interpretations. But nobody has the, that ability to truly interpret what they're feeling in their spirit and use the scriptures to get the full answer. Okay? Now, let's get another scripture. Um... You know, and this, like I said, this lesson wasn't intended to be long. Um, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, and I'm gonna start at the top. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself.' So, how do you measure time if time is invisible? Okay, time is is it's not tangible. You can't grab it. You can't hold it. You can't feel it. Okay, so how do you measure this? Okay, because it, it is it's something. Time is something, but it's, it's invisible. So how do you measure it? OK, the scripture is going to proceed to tell you. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the way that you measure time is by knowing the prophecies. OK. You have to know the prophecies in order to know what time it is. 
If you don't know the prophecies, you don't know what time it is, which is why the prophets have been given that special ability. There's been many people that's picked this Bible up before we was even born, but they weren't given the ability to measure the time because they didn't understand the prophecies. When we see uproars of the people, we see earthquakes, we see in four to five uh, 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 solar eclipses in the last four or five years. We've seen lunar eclipses, blood moons, we're seeing uh, um, protests, we're seeing violence increase. All of this is, is set up to show the prophets that we are close to the coming of the Son of Man. Not because, you know, yeah, people just mad and you know. That's not why these signs are happening. These things are happening, uh, happening in the earth because these are signs that the Lord is using for the prophets to, dec to know that, hey, we close. That's how we measure time, through events. But if you don't know the events that's been spoken about, then how could you measure it? And that's what makes the that's why the prophets are masters of time. OK, that's why back when 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 Israel had more power, if a prophet was to come into the city, the city would be afraid. The city would be afraid. You know, when Samuel came upon the city, the elders came to him with fear and said, have you come to us for good or for evil? You know, because the prophet had the ability to say, hey, the Lord is going to judge your city or the Lord is going to judge you. The Lord is going to put you down. And guess what? It'll happen. Or they had the ability to bless you. You know. And that's that's a gift that was given uh, to, to those men. By Yahweh, by Shema, and there, and there are prophets walking around the earth. Some have a stronger spirit of prophecy upon them than others, but there are prophets on the earth right now that have that ability. Okay, just Lord giving visions, dreams. Okay, or even just spiritual discernment. The prophets have the the, the ability to just look at certain things. Like, hey, man, the Lord is going the Lord gonna jack that dude up. You know, the Lord gonna jack that chick up. Watch. And then it'll, you, you'll see, it'll turn, right, it'll turn right around, like, see, that was the spirit. It'll happen because the Lord has given them the, the spirit to discern time, man. That's why we just read their scriptures in, in Ecclesiastes 8. The uh, wise man's heart discerning both time and judgment. Okay? Because these things proceed from the throne of the Most High. All right? Verse three, it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. OK, so that's how you measure time. Now, what just happened the other day? The, 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 the citizens of Sri Lanka stormed the presidential palace and overtook it, which was very identical to January 6th. Here in America, that's a prophecy that's written of in the scriptures, uproars of the people. And it's, it's literally uproar, weekly uproars, man. OK, weekly things is going down. So you got to be aware. All right, let's get one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up off of this. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. It says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And that's what a lot of people don't know. OK, people don't know it's a time for everything. That's why people get all up in arms when, when, when they get killed. But it's a time for you to die. OK, people think the Lord don't 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 know death. The Lord hasn't seen death. No, it's a time and a place. Now, there be some people standing here that shall not taste the death because the Lord is going to give the elect men, women and children, the, 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 the spirit to overcome. He's going to protect them and watch over them. But that's only for a particular cluster. That ain't for everybody. All right. Verse two, it says a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. So it's a time for everything. And that's what that's what the prophets understand. And that's what the world don't understand. That's why we're not of this world. We're from above. 
These people are from below. They are of the flesh. Okay? It says, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get, a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time of love and a time of hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So these are all different things that the Lord is saying it's a time and a place for. But if you only know one aspect of it, then you don't have the full understanding of time. Okay? You haven't mastered the ability to measure time because you don't know the full spectrum of it. The, what is the dividing of asunder of times? It all boils down to understanding the times. And the prophets have been given that ability to discern it. So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. Until the next time, I say Shalom.